In this video I'm going to recycle a dual tuner Motorola high definition cable box. This was given to me to recycle so I think we'll pop it apart and see if there's any pieces that I can keep out of it and anything that's useful. It will have a hard drive but I don't know how big this one is. Let's find out. I was uh, given another one of these uh, old cable boxes to recycle. I haven't had one of these uh, Motorola units apart before, so let's uh, take apart this old Motorola unit and salvage the hard drive out of it. Of course, it's going to have security screws, and not ones that I have a bit for, so I guess on this case, we're going to be using uh, pliers and side cutters to take this one apart. This is where you can put your your Klein snips on here and use this to unseat the screws. Just like that. Now mind you, I just used the Klein snips just to get these started because they're in, driven in tight. Once you get them started, then a regular pair of pliers works quite nicely to remove them the rest of the way. So just the top should just lift it off. Oh, there might be a lock here. This might be a locking tab. There we go. What's our, what size of hard drive did I store today? What do we got here? A 500 gig. Wow. That'll be good for a little bit of recording. So I just netted myself a Seagate Pipeline HD2 500 gig DVR rated drive. Not complaining. Oh, this has got an M card in it too. That would be for the uh, encryption. But I don't care. I only care about getting the hard drive out of this thing. And yeah, let's see, they got it held in place with a couple of tabs, it looks like. So bend those tabs out of the way. There we go. Hard drive is out. Woohoo! Now, there'll be another couple tabs here. Bend those tabs. Unplug that connector. There we go. Nice hard drive. That'll come in real handy. So, that's all I really care about on this thing. We'll take the M card out and see what the heck this thing is. It says M card device only on the back here. So we'll just take this out. I'll keep the fan out of this thing too. There's nothing else in here that really that uh, there's anything for me. Media cipher. Hmm. Fan just plugged in, and we'll just uh, we'll just cut the little. I guess they're on rubber. It's on rubber tab, so we can just pull the fan out. There we go. A nice little fan with a speed sensor. Hang on to that. That always come in handy. Nothing else in here really is of any use to me or anyone. It's got a power supply, but it'll be a bunch of oddball voltages. The 
maybe the power supply is worth hanging on to. We'll pull the power supply out just and I'll hang on to that just because it's modular and it comes out. There we go. I'll hang on to the power supply. You never know when that might come in handy. The rest of this thing, oh, get a couple of inductors down. I might take those out as well just to have them because you never know when you could use an inductor. I'll keep the inductors and uh, the rest of this stuff is going to go to the bin. So I'm just going to get my heat gun so I can heat those up and remove those inductors. You never know when you're going to need a little inductor for something, right? So, if we can get some free ones, I might as well take them while I can. I think there's a nice display on the front of this thing I should grab too while I'm at it. We'll just take the uh, front panel off. I don't know if it's useful or not, but it might be. So maybe I will. Uh, infrared sensor, I'll keep the infrared sensor. I'm going to keep this whole display board. The rest of this thing is going into the garbage. The rest of this is going for recycling. Nothing in here really of any value other than what I've already gotten off of it. Now, this thing here, um, it's not our standard. It's not a standard memory type card. I put it in the computer and the computer doesn't even recognize this thing, so I'm just going to take it apart and see what's inside it. Looks like a job for my snips. That'll cut through this metal like a hot knife going through butter. Aha, huh, there's a battery in here too. So this is this is obviously the uh, the decryptor software for these cable boxes. And if you try to tamper with it, you lose power to it. And uh, once that battery is disconnected, so this would have um, a RAM backed uh, memory, not a EEPROM. It would have DRAM, and once it loses power. It uh, loses its security keys, so this is going to be. This is where the. This is probably Digicipher technology. It's in this.
And I certainly don't want you opening this up, that's for sure. Okay, so there's what's inside it. We have a battery. I wonder if there's still juice in this battery. Might be a battery worth keeping. I bet you it's still charged because uh, the battery wouldn't be used unless the unit's unplugged. Yeah, 3.1 volts, so this battery is still charged. So I'm going to keep the battery on this thing. Because it's a nice battery that's got tabs on it. And that can come in handy for maybe my ham radio that's got a dead battery. Okay, so that's all that's in here. Let's get a close-up of this uh, of this thing so we can take a look at what chips is in this thing. Before it goes to the garbage as well. So obviously it's got a a custom ASIC in here. It's got some RAM and the RAM is backed up by this battery. So normally it gets its power through the edge connector but if the power is removed the battery that was on the board there is uh, what stores it. All these test points here this would have been used probably to program it when it was uh, first manufactured before they put the thing together they would test it and uh, possibly program it through the test pads on the back put it on a bed of nails doesn't look like they've ever had anything on them though does it usually when they when they when they load something using the the test points they usually you'll see the bed of nails on there so maybe not that might have been just for debugging and then once the unit is ready to go they assemble the unit they put the chip on it they fire it into a computer they program in its custom keys its deciphering keys the the, the private keys as they're called and then it goes into the cable box and uh, you see this is from 2009 this unit here so this is this is all old technology the the cable guys are getting rid of these things because they're they're moving on to more advanced encryption and more advanced um, compression these are all based on MPEG-2 and uh, all the cable guys are all moving away from MPEG-2 and going up to MPEG-4 so these are obsolete um, came from a customer who had it sitting in a box and he just said can you get rid of this for me this is old can you recycle it so okay it's gone for recycling I'm keeping the hard drive and I'm keeping the battery from this thing and I keep a few parts out of it but that's that hope you enjoyed this quick look at a Motorola cable box